Make her watch over you, my lady. Hail, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Not far. It's straight ahead, just past the royal encampment. Most of your fellows are in the valley with the army, but the recruits seem to be staying up here for now. Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the majors. Used to be a fortress long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the lowlands. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loganes closed it off until the battle. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. Probably in his tent, he and Tern Logain are on the southwest side of the camp. The King likes to spend time with his soldiers, though. Sometimes, even without his bodyguards, drives Tern Logain wild, that does. Quartermaster, he's just a bit to the northwest. A few mages, yes. They even brought those creepy, quiet fellows, the Tranquil. Gives me the shivers when they talk, all cold and even. They're to the north of here, bunched up with a herd of Templars glaring at them. Can't miss it. This is Ferelden, isn't it? The king has his kennels on the west side of camp. Stinks from all the hounds. These aren't cute puppies, though. Some of those dogs bite the darkspawn and get too much of that blood in them. It's like poison. Slow, painful death. Terrible. Good luck to you, then. I'm sorry. The mages must not be interrupted. Their spirits are in the Fade. The Fade is the realm of dreams and the land of the dead, or so the mages tell us. Regardless, they are not to be disturbed, not even by Grey Wardens. We stand here in this hour. Greetings, young lady. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynn, one of the mages summoned by the king. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Advice? Never. You young ones know all there is to know about the world anyway. Why would you need advice from an elder? But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Death is no failure, my friend. Should it find you, you will not have failed your Welcome, young woman. I am one of the Tranquil, my friend. I am of the Circle of Magi, but instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the Circle its wealth. 
Certainly, we would not get by on charity. Allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? Not sinful in and of itself. They claim it leads to sin. And there is a basis for that argument. Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily and thus become horrors known as abominations. Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. It might seem such to you, but I feel no horror. I am content to serve in my role. Our forehead is branded with magic, which stills our talent and mind. The process is irreversible as far as I am aware. You do? I feel nothing. As the name suggests, my existence is quite peaceful. I am alive, productive, and no danger to anyone. Surely that is not a terrible thing. Perhaps we may speak of something else. Do you need assistance? It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The tranquil have learned their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the Tranquil to work with Lyrium so. A true mage could not. Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and Lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. Goodbye. Hail to you. So, well, you're not what I thought you'd be. The name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they'd cook this ritual up just for our benefit. I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see, <laughs> like we have a choice. I've got nowhere else to go after what Duncan saved me from. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. How do you do? Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or by the maker up. Ah, oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Oh, I'm sure you have better things to do than run errands for me. I can find it myself. Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the King's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some, uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> so long as you keep it quiet.
Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Let me know what you'd like. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Maid. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens, by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. And that makes you Duncan's new recruit, I suppose. Glad to meet you. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Right, that was the name. You know, it just occurred to me that there have never been many women in the Grey Wardens. I wonder why that is. I'm getting that impression. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. In the name of Andraste, I bless you today. Welcome you to find the King's favor camp, in the Maker's eyes. So let it be. Greetings. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. Sir Jury is my name. I hail from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arlaemon. 
I was not aware they permitted women to join the Grey Wardens. None of those I've seen thus far have been. You obviously impressed Duncan, and that's enough for me. I hope we're both lucky enough to eventually join the Wardens. Is it not thrilling to be given that chance? I fought hard to get here. Impressing Duncan was not easy. Tell me, has anyone told you what this joining ritual entails? I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. Ah, I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? Then I bless you, Grey Warden, in the name of Andraste and the Maker above. May the chant of light carry your name to the ears of our Lord. Well met, my lady. The Orlesian Grey Wardens would be a great support in the coming battle. Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. No. They put someone like me in a cage until someone important has time to decide what to do with me. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. I'm a deserter. Or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it, though. Armies are funny that way. I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you going to think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. Oh, I would have deserted eventually. Just not then. I was stealing, not sneaking out of the camp. I got one of those wizards drunk and took his key. It belongs to a chest they got here, full of magical treasures. In fact, I still have it. I can't use it from here, but I'd trade you for some food and water. I swallowed it, but it's uh, come back into my possession since then, so to speak. What? But you can't do that! Ah, God! I did not see that coming. What? What in Andraste's name did you do that for? Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't give you the right to go and kill anyone you please. Explain yourself. Hmm. I suppose you did it that. Fair enough. Well, no skin off my teeth. When they ask me why he's dead, that's what I'll tell them. I'll get on it. Sorry, miss. The army camp is off limits for you right now. I can't feel it. You may not want to remain here long, Warden. Most of these men have been tainted by the Darkspawn blood. You. You need to convince them. We've got to run. The Darkspawn are coming. The Grey Wardens will die. The King will die. We'll all die. I apologize, Warden. He's been like this ever since they found him in the wilds. The commander who brought him here didn't seem to think so. You... You can feel it, can't you? They taint the land, turn it black and sick. Oh, you can feel it inside. They'll come out of that forest and spread, like caterpillars covering a tree. They'll swallow us whole. Uh, that's quite enough out of you. You need to calm yourself, my good man. They were everywhere. I saw them. That course of action is inadvisable. 
Maker above. We who betrayed your prophet Andromeda. Now's better than later. Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. Half the dogs are sick from dark spawn blood. It's terrible. You there. Elf. If you have business What's with the Ash Warriors, I suggest you speak to our commander. Pick, sir. Go tell Turn Logan that the war party is ready to, to begin scouting. Not before the battle we'll begins. Word if we find anything amiss. Please do not disturb yes, our hands. Right, right away, sir. We feed them well tonight. Or it may be their love. Welcome to the King's camp, my lady. What do you need? You haven't brought more instructions from the town, I hope. If you're not from the town, what do you want? We're busy. We aren't. We're Ash Warriors. Our training has been passed down since Lathias the Dwarf's son first harnessed the battle rage of the Dwarves. It is an old tale. We harness the rage inside us, nurture it. Draw it out so we cannot fall in battle until our last foe is slain. It is a dwarven discipline. We've adapted it to let us fight alongside our hounds. That is our way. I trust my hound with my life, as he trusts me with his. Then you are most fortunate. A trained Mabari hound is as dangerous as any sword. We do not speak of a city pet or, or those things that sit in an old woman's lap. To scout the wilds and watch the progression of the Darkspawn Horde. With luck, we'll find and slaughter many stragglers. The hunt will be good if my hound survives the blood of his prey. If he dies, I shall mourn tonight. Darkspawn blood is poisonous and not always fatal. Those who survive grow immune to its effects. The wardens say the tainted blood drives even the survivors mad eventually. But not today. Today, we hunt and we kill. They fight at our side. We don't fret over their safety as if they were children. They use scent to distinguish us from our enemies. But the blood of battle can confuse them. So we paint ourselves with Cadiz, which overpowers the blood, and also paint our hounds so they know we are the same. Why? Would you steal our caddis and give it to the Darkspawn Hordes? Good. I hear death is unpleasant. My thanks. There is something to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. I suppose I do, though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go, in fact. Terran Loghain sees the King whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles, but the King just waves him off. The King wants to end the Blight with a single huge battle the Bards will sing of for centuries. Do you think that's possible? That's how the Terran feels. He'll do what the King wants in the end, though. The King thought it was funny that Terran called him reckless and they fought about the Queen. To the Terran's daughter, no less. He wasn't happy about something she did or the King did, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't discuss it. As you wish. You approach the tent of Terran Loghain. State your business. How can you not know of Loghain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Tern. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Without Loghain, you can bet the King wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. Hmm. I suppose you have a message for him. Hold on, then. Yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. 
Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? Marek respected the Grey Wardens. They have an honored place in the hearts of our people. But Marek would have understood that it takes more than legends to win a battle. That's not an argument I'll repeat here. You look familiar. Have I seen you at the lands meet? The king told me of his promise. I'm certain he has every intention of following it through. I don't suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? Here for the glory, huh? Fair enough. Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sword. Then simply pray. <laughs> Look carefully, man. This wretched thing is a darkspawn. They're strong and cunning and smart, but don't listen to those old wives' tales. They can be killed. Stick them with your sword enough, and they go down. Their blood is black as sin and poisonous. Don't even touch it. You get tainted with that blood, and you may as well slit your throat. We've lost many dogs already. Had to muzzle them to keep them from biting. It's a long and painful way to die. Well, don't touch the carcass. We'll be burning it so it doesn't infect anything. This is supposed to be the battle that sends these Darkspawn back underground. You believe that? I don't know what to believe. We've won every battle, but there's more of them each time. Makes you wonder if them Grey Wardens are right. I don't want to think about that. Mm, sounds like the perfect time to get the well done. There are lots of Darkspawn, different kinds. We're getting reports of things we've never even heard of. Our short friend here, for instance. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. You're right, Duncan. I... apologize. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. The scrolls contain treaties promising support, treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Mako watch over your path. I will see you when you return. I am ready. Last month, Duncan visited Hyver, and the ban held a tournament in his honor. I won the Grand Melee. It was hard to leave my wife. We married only a year ago, and she is heavy with child now. But Ferelda needs my blade, and I shall not falter. Indeed. What we've done, the better. Must we? So you return from the wilds. Have you been successful? Then you'd best start soon. You don't want to be in the wilds when night falls. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. <laughs>